you can write your own JavaScript functions for use in client-side calc fields uh, and other client-side expressions in a grid component. So you can see here that we have a simple uh, grid that has a start time field and an end time field and then another field here which is a calc field which uh, defines the duration of the event uh, by subtracting the end time from the start time and representing the duration in uh, minutes over here. So let's go and look at how this was done. So we'll go back to uh, design mode and then go to the duration field and you can see here we have a calculated field and if you look at the uh, expression here you'll see that the expression is time diff uh, start time minus end time where of course start time is that the uh, the time value in that field and end time is the time value in that field but if you go here and look at the insert function um, drop down you'll see that there is no function called time diff these functions here are so-called pseudo functions these are functions that um, alpha 5 knows how to convert into uh, JavaScript. So, so uh, uh, these, are, these are not XBasic functions and they're not JavaScript functions. They are pseudo functions that Alpha 5 has predefined uh, builders for to convert into JavaScript. But there is no uh, time diff function. So basically that means that um, Alpha 5 does not recognize this function and so it just passes the function through as is. So now it becomes uh, important for us to go and define our own function called time diff so that uh, there is a JavaScript function uh, available at runtime to actually do this calculation. So let's go now to uh, properties and scroll down to JavaScript function declarations. And you can see here we've defined our own JavaScript function that takes two uh, time value strings and uh, basically passes the functions, passes the date time strings into date values and then subtracts the one value from the other value, divides by a thousand to convert from uh, milliseconds into seconds and then divides by, se by 60 to convert seconds into uh, minutes and then uh, if either of the two input values is not a number, which is the uh, built-in JavaScript is NAN function, then we just return a blank string over here. So this is showing how we are able to write our own JavaScript functions uh, and use them in a client-side calc field. So now let's go ahead into a uh, working preview. And you can see here that uh, the start time is uh, 4.01 p.m. The end time is 4.15 p.m. That's 14 minutes. And so there's the difference over there, 14 minutes. Here is uh, 55 minutes because this starts at 5.10 and ends at 6.15. And this um, start time uh, and end time are on different days. So we get, you can, you can see a much uh, larger number. But then uh, on these new rows here, uh, where we have not yet entered any value, um, the uh, function returns a blank string because the uh, entry here uh, is the is NAN function would return true and therefore the uh, function just bails out. So you can see here that the uh, client-side calc fields uh, in the grid component are extremely powerful because they allow you to write your own JavaScript functions for use in the uh, expressions. Thank you very much.